Hello ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who don't know, my name is Orangello and welcome back to our Pokemon Rocket Lock Challenge. Now, in this episode we're going to be taking on two gyms, we're going to be taking on Flannery's Gym and Brawly's Gym. So, I don't know where to go, so I'm just going straight into it. Oopsies, that's not where I want to go. I am um, just going straight into things, I have no idea which is the right path to take. Oh, okay. I guess I'm I guess I'm fighting this guy. Oh, there's Flannery right there. I can't just hop this wall. That's not how it works. I can't just jump over the wall. I'm a Team Rocket member. I don't play by the rules. Oh, nice little bell sprout there. Now our goal is to get Ipswith to become a Magneton. So that way I can have him chill for a little while, use him if I need him. But <clears throat> Ideally, he'd be a Magneton, and then he'd just relax for a little while, and hang out in the party, and if uh, I ran into a sticky situation, he would come in. So, you got two levels, and I, it's mainly going to be from this gym, because I'm, I'm going to fight everyone in Brawly's gym, and I still don't, still don't think that's really going to do too much in the experience department now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, alright, let's get Ipswith out of here. <laughs> because he can't become a Magneton if he dies! Tell you what. <laughs> and we have been lucky enough to have not lost anybody yet. Uh, knock on wood. But, um. There you go, Bird Jesus. Amakuita knows Whirlwind. Really? All right, well, let's just take this thing out. All right, anyways. Yeah, we haven't lost anybody yet, knock on wood, but um, we have we came real close in that battle with Archie, which is why it's upsetting that you guys weren't able to watch it, because the battle with Archie, I was panicking. I had a lot of close calls, a couple crits that we survived. It was, it was, it was a good battle. You, you guys should have been there, realistically. Should have been there. But, um... What are you going to do? Alright, try this one. Mm, that doesn't look good. Nope, okay. S so, trial and tribulations would lead me to believe... That I have to go into... Hang on. That's the one I came out of. Is right up there. This one. Ayo. And we're, we are where we want to... Uh, to the top right. Hey, oh. uh, let's go directly to the left. Nope. <laughs> okay. You see, getting tired right now. You like to rest in the hot sand. Shut up and battle me already. I'm here to whoop butt, not conversate with the likes of you and your skitty freaking weirdo. Uh, that's a good thing about Magneton is that he can't become attracted to anything because he is. A weird and isn't a boy or girl. Not saying that people who are. No, I'm not even gonna get into that. You guys know what I meant. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to justify anything <laughs> because you guys know what I meant. He has no gender. That's that's as far as I'm going on the subject. But that's a good thing about Magneton or Magnemite and Magneton, I guess, is that he can't be um, attracted to anything. So Pokemon like Skitty. I have no effect on him. It. Now that I realize it. <laughs> Alright, so we took down that guy. Alright, let's go down here. And is this where I want to be? I think it is. Flannery! Hello, my darling! You look so magnificent. You look so cute when you try to be tough. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yell at me all you please, I know your heart burns for me with the fire of your fire Pokemon that you probably don't have. See like a Jigglypuff? Can't be cute charmed into that thing. Because my Magnemite is soulless. And heartless. As well as genderless. So yeah. That's how that goes. <laughs> Let me take a break from, uh, take a break from real Pokemon where we got super dark for a minute there. With my genderless, soulless, and heartless Pokemon. 
we take on this cute little Jigglypuff. So, who else is excited for the remakes? I am, and now they are also being coupled on a release date with the Wii U. So, if you didn't know that tidbit of information, I am now Orange Jello, your Nintendo Information Hub, but there's probably some really better, there's some more reliable resources than me for that type of stuff. But basically, I'm really excited for the remakes, is what it comes down to. So, y'all should be excited too, because the remakes are going to be sweet. And, okay, we, I don't think we're going to get there. Skarmory. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, jeez, with this freaking sand. There you go, Ipswith. Hit anyways, take it out. Show we're not to be messed with. Alright, half, but paralyzed. Alright, I'm going to heal. I was going to take the risk of not healing and just attacking because it's paralyzed, but then I'd probably miss, and then it's going to use Steel Wing. Nope, agility. Hopefully it's not faster than me. Is it possible for a paralyzed Pokemon to be faster than a non-paralyzed Pokemon if it boosts its speed up like that? I guess not. Oh, uh, if it uses agility, well, we'll find out. Because if there's anything I've learned, it's with isn't. Oh, there it is. Yep, <laughs> it is certainly possible for a uh, paralyzed Pokemon to be faster than a non-paralyzed Pokemon if the speed boost is right. Ooh, that's a big help. Mm, okay, and oh, Wingle. Ooh, I'm about to fry up some bird. What a gun. That does normal damage to me? I had no idea. And I got a crit. Wow. Okay, I guess steel can't be resistant to everything. But I thought electric might be. Whatever, doesn't matter. We got it. Oh, Flannery, you flatter me. Anyways, she said a bunch of stuff I didn't read. Got the heat bad from Flannery. Oh, I thank you, thank you. Yes, I I am that good looking. Yep, fifty. Give me something. Hey, don't make me don't make me knock you around out here. There's no one around. All right, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. You give me that. I'm gonna talk to you, little boy toy Brawly, over in uh, Duford. No, yeah, Duford, and um, see what he's got for me too, huh, Flan? Now that you're out of the picture, you can't do nothing. Going around mugging all the gym leaders for their TMs. Get me out of here. Oh, hello, May. Hello, hello. Ha <laughs> ha, how you doing? Jello, uh, long time no see. Oh, while well, I was visiting the hot springs, you shot the Lavro gym badge. You must have caught good Pokemon. No, I guess you raised some. I guess it would be okay for you to have this. <coughs> Thanks, May. <coughs> You gotta put the go goggles in the way. Get those go goggles, you'll have no trouble getting through this desert near Route 111. But oh, wow, Jello, challenging gyms. You're so hot. Jello, I think you should challenge your dad in the Pedalbird gym. See you again. Oh, May. You know just what to say to a guy, huh? Anyways. Any hoosies. I will um, just kind of get myself to do for it and save you guys the uh, trouble of watching that. So, be back in a bit. And we're back. In Doofer Town. So we're going to go and heal up all our boys, and let us go to town. Let's take it around town. Alright, let's go in here and do this right quick. Uh, let's go take on everybody who we need to. Oh, an Encada. Go Ipswith. Now, some of you might be wondering if you have the keen eye that I know some of you do. You might be thinking to yourself right now, Hey, Jello! Ipswith has a lot more XP right now than he did when you left Flannery's gym. The heck, bro? You got hacks? And the answer to your well-thought-out inquisition is no. I don't have hacks. Believe it or not. I'm, I am just as good. But, uh, oh, gee, come on, Ipswith. You're killing me here, dude. Oh my god, thank you. Um, I went into that desert and fought some trainers that aren't important. But I didn't, ca I didn't run into any wild Pokemon. I didn't catch any of their Pokemon. So, everything's still all good in the hood. Might is right, come on. I wanted to evolve Magnemite this episode because I like having content for you guys. And if that's so wrong... Then just let me know, and I won't do it again. Oh crap, I used Thunder Wave. 
because I'm here for you guys. I'm here for the adventure. Ah, I thank you, Delabird. I knew there was a reason I accidentally kept you alive. And it restored my... It restored everything on me. Uh, the, the PP and my moves, too. That's funny. Thanks, Delabird. I might do it. Oh, baby, that's it! Oh, yeah. Not enough power. What is with this evolving? Bum 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 da bum 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 da bum. Oh yes! Time for the evil laugh of glory. The glory of the Ipswith. Let's get out of here. I ain't gonna fight that lady no more. Going straight to Brawly and letting him know that my Magnemite just evolved. And then after this, when I go and take on the Pelibird Jam, he's gonna take a bit of a backseat because, you know, we wanna get everybody involved. Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. The feast has begun. Delicious. Next entree. That's something that Magnemite could have done, but it's just cooler now that there's three. Oh, a low tad. Please. Please spare me. Boom. Ah, uh, so beautiful. So beautiful to watch. That was... Whoa, you made a much better splash than I expected. You swamped me. Okay, you've got me. Take this gym badge. Brawly, I know you got something else for me. I already took down homegirl Flannery at the other place. No one around. I know you got something else. Other than this stupid little badge, that means nothing to me. Because I'm out here for the Pokemon. Yep. Maybe you use the HM Flash or Battle. Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, a little extra something for me. What did, I, what did I have? Let me know. Bulk up. Mm. What did he actually give me? Oh, what did Flannery give me, too? Heal Bell? Lame. And she. Did she give me ass? No, she gave me smog. Also lame. Son of a gun. You guys suck. Get me out of here. Can't even run. Alright, well, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. We've seen the glory of an evolved Magneton. And, um. It's pretty much the goal of the episode, other than getting these two badges. Next episode is another gym. Um, so. Be ready for that. Stay tuned. Alright, guys. It's been fun. It's been real. But I'm out. Peace.